Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining another real-time edit. Thanks so much for always watching these and for the feedback. I really appreciate it. So feel free to leave feedback in the comments. I love seeing what you guys think of these videos. All right, so got this crazy long-tailed duck coming in for a landing. Love how they come in and ski. So first things first, I shot it nice and crooked like I always do. So we'll go ahead and straighten that out. Uh, compositionally, gosh, I think I'm going to go a little bit close to centered on this. I don't know if I want to go high or low with it. Um, hmm, let's see. That feels a little weird. I don't want it smack in the center, so maybe, yeah, that feels better. All right, let me just check that straightness again. Right through that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. All right, cool. So I think that's good. I know, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit more space in front of the direction he's going, but not, maybe not that much. Because I do like kind of seeing the splash and the streak back there. All right, so that seems to be good. Uh, too blue, definitely too blue on this entire image. Uh, so we're going to warm it up uh, a little bit less magenta. And then we'll brighten it up just a bit, bring the uh, highlights down, lift the shadows up. And then bring the blacks back for contrast. It was pretty contrasty light. Now, now that I'm looking at it, it's a little too green now. So kick some magenta back in. Um, I think I'm just going to throw a radial on right through the middle there. And then just darken the top and bottom a little bit. And then I'll actually warm them up and green them up to get a little bit more color in that background. And maybe I went a tad too dark. There we go. That seems like a good starting spot. Still definitely way too blue on this side of the bird, on the shadow side there. So we'll clean that up in Photoshop. And then I also want to get little patches of snow hanging on in the background there, which is nuts in June. Uh, I'm not used to snow in June, that's for sure. But, you know, hey, Alaska, it's a whole different world. All right, so let's clone these out real quick. It's easiest thing ever. Just kind of smooth that out. I don't think there's anything else to really clone. I mean, there's a little variation in the background there, but I kind of dig that. All right, so I guess first things first, let's desaturate that blue on the shadow side of the bird, but we don't want to affect the other areas so much. But yeah, that you know, like that's the accurate accurate color, not that. So definitely needed to fix that. And I'll leave it a little bit cooler because it is the shadow side. Um, and there, that should do. Uh, I do actually want to exaggerate the blue in those water drops. So I'm going to throw a curve layer on, do that, and then let's see if I can select out just the blue. Or at least just mainly like the water drops, right? That should do the trick. Then we'll paint some of that in. There we go. Let's really make that water stand out with the blue. Oh, yeah, nice. All right, um, boy, what else? What else with this? I, you know, I think I want a little bit more saturation. Hmm. Nah, not quite saturation. Maybe just contrast, like darkness and contrast on the background. Ooh, yeah, that's good overall. It just got a little bit much on the bird here. So, in fact, I'll just take it out of like that whole center area there, especially on this side. But that was a that was a good move overall, I'd say. Yeah, that definitely richens the whole thing up. And then actually we'll just throw another curve on, just kind of pop the highlights and the whites on that side and hit the whole bird and the splash with that, right? Just to make all those areas kind of stand out. I wonder if I still have that selection going from before. I don't, but I can grab it from there and Hit some of that splash now lightening that is of course going to take some of that color away but no problem all right uh and then let's just show off that beautiful orangey red eye and we'll make it a little bit more that a little bit more color in the eye there we'll add some on that side which you can't really see anyway and i think we are good on this one now I'm seeing the tiniest bit of green tones in there maybe uh, so let me just take that out a little bit, just a little bit less green on the bird itself. And there we go. So before, after. Hey, yeah, I like that. Nice. Let me get that saved. Uh, while that's saving, just a real quick plug. Uh, if you want to learn exactly how I do what I do here, head on over to rayhennessy.com. Go to the workshops. You can go right to the online workshops. 
Here are all the online courses and different options that I offer. This is probably the best one just to do a one session with me, a remote session. We'll connect via Zoom and I'll teach you everything about how I know what I, uh, what I do in Photoshop and Lightroom. All right. Uh, and answer any questions. I'm an open book on those. So uh, any of these other options though are certainly available. Last plug is uh, head on over to my website and go over to the podcast section here. I have a, a lot of different shows now. Uh, they're all not technically podcasts, but I just list them all under that. So these two are audio podcasts. This one's a video show and the Wild Conversations live video show. If you've never joined us on that, uh, definitely do. If you head on over to wildconversationshow.com or just click on the logo, it'll take you right to that page. You can see the upcoming live shows and obviously watch all the past recorded shows. Uh, but same thing works on any one of these. Click on the logo of the show. It will take you to that show's page and you can see all the episodes or you can click right to an episode there. So a nice easy way to get to all the content that I'm putting out uh, sometimes weekly, sometimes every other week, sometimes monthly. All right. So tons of stuff out there for you. All right. Let's hop back into Lightroom and see our total before and after here. Should be a nice big difference. Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot to reset the... Uh, the original on this there we go there's that horribly crooked original but look at the color difference right just so washed out and weak and kind of gross there uh, just due to that kind of strong light that we had uh, but it can be corrected um, this is certainly not like the best portrait light this if, if I had, had only a portrait here I probably wouldn't like it too much but when you get fun action like this I think it can kind of outweigh that um, that less than stellar light. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.